to freeze actinic keratosis, which is a precancerous skin region, using liquid nitrogen. So I get a thermos and put this inside of the doer. Here, actual liquid flowing into the thermos. You can get closer if you want. Let me know if there's any comments. We'll go ahead and mm -hmm. respond to comments. So I get it pretty full. And just to show you guys what this is, it is a clear liquid Ooh. that boils at 300, uh, I believe it's 341 degrees below zero. So if it's in a liquid state, it is less than 300 degrees. And I need... So we have a setup here in our office What's where we have a... For? This is for uh, destroying a skin lesion that's considered to be precancerous. And we use a very small nozzle to get it out there. And then this is just for blowing off water vapor that come with it. So come with me okay. to room two, where we will see the anonymous patient. And this time we can show his face because you gave us permission to show your face, correct? Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Okay. So here he is. Hello. Hi. And we'll show you the uh, skin lesions that we're looking at. Okay. We sit, okay. Yeah, just sit on the side of the table. Okay. And the ones that we're talking about, and these come from too much exposure to the sun. There's one here. Uh, you see the little whitish crust mm -hmm. there? Yeah. And then this one here is very hard to see. You feel it more than see it. And it's a, a roughness to the skin. Mm -hmm. The one that probably be best because the lighting is on the left ear, on the antihelix right here. And actually it doesn't come through very well at all on the phone. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go ahead and start the treatment. We'll go from this side to the other side. There's three of them, which means a total of six sprays. We spray to get it white, which means frozen. And I want it to remain frozen for a good, oh, 15, 20 seconds. And then I come back and refreeze it after it thaws out. So I'm moving on to the second one here. And again, I have to really feel it because I can't see it. So you can see it's frozen, the skin is frozen white. I move on to the last one on the ear. Again, I want to feel it right there. Somebody wants to know if that hurts. No stinging sensation. Okay. <laughs> Says the man through very controlled voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of hearts. It does sting. Yeah, show him the heart so you can see. All those hearts are from uh, people liking what's going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess they like you hurting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hit this one again. And then it'll thaw out. We'll hit this one again. And this should not need to be done again for these lesions. But in a person who gets <laughs> actinic keratosis, chances are they're going to happen James again. Says go, Dad. Oh, is my son there? Yes. Excellent. Hi, James. Thanks for watching, by the way. Um, and you also can give hearts. I have to show James how to give hearts. Oh. James, you give hearts by tapping the screen. And, and that's how we get hearts. And it's how they measure how well a person is doing on a Periscope, apparently. So that's the whole treatment. That's um, it. We have some aftercare instructions for you that tell you to uh, keep it out of the sun, keep sunscreen on it, until the blister all heals up. But even after that, we want these exposed areas to be covered with sunscreen. And then I'll check you out up front and you'll be all set. Sunscreen and a half. And then call if there's any signs of infection, if it gets um, more red, I mean, more red than it already would be, okay. or if there's a pus discharge or fever, anything like that, call. Okay. Um, from this treatment, we've never seen that happen. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and how many days will this? It takes about two days for it to fully be blistered okay. and then the scab over. Oh, okay. And then it starts to heal over the following couple of weeks. It won't matter. I'm, this is my wife's birthday. It's okay. Half on the 24th, and we'll be gone over to the coast. I'll probably be going out to pool. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pool, pool is fine. Okay. It's just going to have a scab on it. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was actinic keratosis cryotherapy. It can also be treated with uh, a chemotherapeutic cream. Sounds scary when we say chemotherapeutic because that sounds like. Ooh, bad cancer. It, it is precancerous and it does act like a chemotherapy, but it's just a skin cream, so it's just affecting the uh, skin. Oh, hi.
I'm going to go ahead and pour back the unused portion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not using the mic this time. I'm pouring back the unused portion of the hydrogen, of the hydrogen, of the nitrogen back into the doer. Doer is what we call the uh, big gigantic thermos. And here we go. Let's see, can you guys see it? Going back in. All right, so we'll put that back on there. Any other quick questions about the procedure before I get on to the next patient? The difference between squamous cell and basal cell? It's actually the type of cell that the, tr the cancer is growing from. The squamous cells are on the outside portion of the skin, whereas the basal cells are in the basal layer of the skin. And the squamous cell is the more dangerous, although when it's on the skin, you can usually catch it. Uh, this actinic keratosis that I was calling precancerous, if it were to turn into a cancer, it would actually be the squamous cell type of cancer. So that's why you want to get rid of it at this point. Although truthfully, it's, it's uh, in the single digits as far as the percentage of this type of lesion that will go on to become a, a squamous cell carcinoma. And then basal cell carcinoma, uh, another type of skin cancer, normally is a rather benign, just locally growing cancer that can be just destroyed or removed locally. And malignant melanoma is the really bad type of spreading, uh, killing cancer. Do they have a sign? At least I, I just did verbal consent for uh, for this patient. He was okay. He knew his face would be on it. He thought th this part of the body would be okay for the world to see. <laughs> Something like that. Um, as far as biopsies on actin keratosis, they're so classic as far as the, the white crust on the red base growing on the classic, you know, dorsum of the nose or right along the uh, temple or nearby or ears that we don't biopsy those. We just go ahead and treat them and get rid of them. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you don't already follow, swipe right to follow. And um, we will be featured on a, a blog about Doctors Who Periscope. I'll tell you more about it when it comes up and we'll make links to it on my Twitter. Uh, it should be, should be published tomorrow. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Until next time, this is Dr. Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.